<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Here we Bye, are. Everyone. We made it. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I'm excited for today's project. Um, I wanted to introduce Trisha from Pink Poodle Design Studio. Yes. And um, Hi. I'm going to share a link really quick, guys, for how to find her. So, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And yeah, I'm that's just my link tree. Chat. Everything's there. So <laughs> yep. it's the easiest way to do her. <laughs> and I put a, a hyperlink in the chat so you guys can click on it. That way. Awesome. Thank you so much, Danielle. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Been thrilled. Beautiful jewelry, like amazing inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. I, I enjoy it. I really do. It's therapy for me. So a lot of folks I hear that <laughs> from, but yep, it is. So thank you so much though. I really thank you. <laughs> I mean, all, the, all the gorgeous things you've been posting, they've been just like, Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And so I'm, thank I'm excited you. to do today's project because it's something that is like something I've never really done before with the, you did a patina yes. on the findings and yes. then you did a beautiful wire wrap where you got these just to spend um, mm -hmm. the leaves and mm -hmm. they're these little yeah. findings. Those are beautiful. I love them. So I'm excited to learn how you did this. Um, I was thinking before we get started, do you want to show off any other stuff? Like what do you, what kind of stuff do you make? Where can we see more of your lives? Um, the link sure, is your sure. course. But. Sure. Let me go down to the surface. I'll show you some of the fun stuff I've been working on lately. What I've okay. been into, if that's okay. Yeah. Let me get that turned. And I am, you can find me every Thursday on Pink Poodle Jewelry Studio um, Facebook page where I go live and I teach techniques. I don't know where I'm having trouble here. There we go. Um, teach a jewelry making techniques. This will just take a moment to change over, guys, so you didn't lose me. Um, I, I hey. teach the jewelry making techniques. This is actually, whoops, it went back. Let me go back. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, come on now. Let's not do that. It was perfect. It was you have a really good it camera. Was. It looks nice. Oh, uh, thank you. My surface one is better than my face one, but I, I like it. I'm hoping this holds here. Come on now. Don't play this game with me, people. <laughs> Folks are saying hi. We've got a, a lot of highs hi, in the in the chat. Everybody. This is of course lagging, but here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. This is one Working. of the Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Danielle. No, no, I said it's working good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, we got it. But this was a fun one I did not last week, but the week before I did these wire wrapped um, hoops. I taught those. These are with Delica's, these ones. These are the ones I mean as my example. Mm -hmm. um, just super fun and easy. Just projects that have a, a nice statement to them, but you don't have to, you know, go to too much trouble to make them. That's like my favorite, you know, easy, but looks hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then these were the ones I actually did on the video. So you can find me um, on Facebook every Thursday at three o'clock on the Pink Poodle Jewelry page. And then after I'm done with the lives, the videos will live on um, Pink Poodle Jewelry Studios YouTube page. So if you haven't, head over there and subscribe, guys. Always appreciate that. And this is another thing I've been into lately is putting the cabs on the backing and then stitching, doing stitching around that and then putting like a piece of leather on the back or whatever. But last night um, I was finishing this up and I had done, this is with John Bead's 11 O's, which are, these are the Mayukis and they are absolutely gorgeous beads to work with guys. Not only are they beautiful, but they're consistent and lovely. I just really like them. Uh, but I did the basic around the edges, but last night I thought, how am I going to do a, a nice edging on this? And I thought, well, I'm going to try three beads and see if I can connect with that. And I did, and it gave it like this um, lacy look around the edge, which I was tickled with. It just was a happy accident. So I did that. And then this is something else that I did. Um, I just take the cab and do the same thing, but these are beautiful trays that they, I believe they sell at Jesse James Beads, but you, I just stitched around them. Very simple, very basic designs. I'm hoping to further my education on that and, awesome. you know, just put it and then I glued everything into this tray and then stitched around the edge here. So you can't see any of the uh, backing on it. So that's just a few of the fun things I've been making. 
you know, I'm always busy. Uh -huh. I'm always into stuff. So, <laughs> and I shared a link to the earring hoops. I shared that on um, my Facebook page and in on um, the John Bead Facebook group. So you guys can okay. find me to that there. Awesome. Lynn, thank you for su subscribing to my YouTube channel. That just popped up. Awesome. Hi, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. So today, I think I'm going to teach you how to make a fun little necklace. I did use fall colors on this. Um, I love can, it. Yeah, I, I mean. Fall is my favorite season, so that just yeah. lit me up when I saw Me that. too. Me too, honey. I understand completely, believe me. <laughs> and I'm like, spring I like, but it's a little bit too wet for when you have dogs because they go out and they um, get all wet and muddy and stuff like that. But other than that, I love spring and fall is my favorite. But um, yeah, I use these cute, beautiful crystal lane design uh, beads from John beads, which I love also. Um, very oh, pretty. Um, I love how you made that mix. It looks like I'm, I'm guessing you combined these two strands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And that's what I did. The fall colors. So you used, you used the red, orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. And then the greens and the uh, I believe the like the transparent uh, orange from here. The transparent orange and the transparent yellow and the transparent red. So oh, I stuck and... with those three colors, but you can pop the green in. I was thinking after I did it, I wish I would have popped some green into it. Um, oh, but... I see that is yellow now. It looked kind of greeny on the other on the yeah. other photo I saw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It, it's almost like a yellow green kind of color. You know, when you, like it depends on what's here. behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, cool. That's cool. Beautiful. That's genius. Yeah. What a creative way to use the rainbow. Cause like when I got that strand, I, all I could think about was rainbow designs mm -hmm. and I just think it's so cool that you pulled them out and made your own palette. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Yes. Yeah. They're fun to work with the rainbows cause the sky's the limit, you know, for sure. <laughs> oh, I see some of my friends on there, Zach and Maria, Jennifer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody's here today. <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> so uh, you let me know when you're ready to get started and I'm ready. We'll yeah. I was going to say real quick about how to find the stuff you're using. So you're using 22 gauge wire. Mm -hmm. And so I just grabbed, I don't have the colors, but I just grabbed some gold. Yeah. That that's in that's hand. perfectly fine. I have that here as well, but I had this and I thought, well, that's that so kind of cool. works perfect. So, and then I wasn't sure where to tell folks they could get the, the color wire. Um, the color wire is actually from Jesse James Beads. This is Beetle gotcha. One makes it, but that's I got it from Jesse James Beads. You could go directly to the Beetle One website or go to Jesse James Beads to purchase it from them. They have a variety of different multicolor. Um, it's artistic, so um, you know rolls. So cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. And the fairy silk that I use here, that's also, also Jesse from them. James I recognize Beads. that's there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so cool. And so then you're also using uh, uh, the John Bean strands and findings. So I want to give folks mm -hmm. a heads up where they can find those yes. uh, two places. I put a few links in the description. Cool. Um, and then um, I also wanted to mention, I'm going to update the description right after the video. I'm taking notes. So you guys don't have to of all the stuff that Trisha uses today. And I'll do a more comprehensive, like I'll go and find links and I'll put it all together for you. For oh, now, wonderful. the links that are there, uh, I want to just highlight one of them is... Is this the right one? Yes. Okay. So uh, Jennifer Miller, she's in the chat. She is carrying a bunch of John Bean. So she has strands, findings, and oh, nice. I also put some direct links to findings from another source. So I found them a couple places in case um, they sell out in her shop um, and in case there's differences between the ones she, she carries most of them, but I don't think she has them all. So, um, but Jennifer, please pop in and let me know like if there's anything you want to add to that and I can, I can highlight it for you. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just pop that link in the chat now really quick. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all technical. <laughs> I know, right? There's always a way I find. And yes. then, but then once I figure it out, I feel like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, there we go. And here comes her link in the chat on both awesome. Facebook and YouTube. At the same well, point. that's good to know. You can get it from there too. Awesome. Yeah. Because we're we're live in both places now. Oh, great, awesome. great, great! That's wonderful. So okay, that's, yeah, that's where you can get everything, and it'll be in the description. YouTube, it'll be in the event description discussion on Facebook. 
So let's jump in. Okay, I'm gonna move this map because I have a tendency to wanna get my paint on everything. So I just have like this basic cover down here, but I am gonna take a couple paper towels cause I'm, I'm messy. Oh, cool, okay, I'm with you. And you just wanna have a paper towel handy and some water if you do, you know, have it handy there. Um, and then you can rinse your brushes because the enamel paints, I'm using the patina paints from a vintage. <clears throat> in these colors the carnelian the gold nugget and the garnet these are okay. the old bottles but now it's called the ultimate paint i believe uh yeah i have some handy here okay i got mine from softlex company I oh think. yeah yep um but you can also get it directly from vintage as well mm -hmm. um and, and and i'm sure it's lots of places actually right yeah, I think so. I know I I think Jesse James Speed still cares it and oh, um, yeah. okay. I believe so. Um, That's awesome. It's good. Let me get my and I just have a couple jump rings here. I think these are about six millimeter. Oh, good to know. Yes, I might want to get some of those. <laughs> Yeah, those are just textured jump rings, but you can use anything. I just lay my paper down, then I get myself a little tray here and just put my colors in. We're going to start with the leaves. We we aren't painting the, the, this cool frame, so it'll just stay gold. We're just painting these three items. And I'm going to start with the leaves, like I said, and I just want to make sure and give my stuff, my paints a little bit more of a shake quick because it's important to have these mixed up the way they need to be, guys. I was just doing that, too. I was worried it was loud, but now I'm going to do it, too. Yeah, go for it. We're doing it. It's a dance, you know? The maracas. See, we, get, we get rhythm and <laughs> so. <laughs> we got rhythm, Danielle. We do. We totally do. I just can't get this. See, I like it. You're supposed to shake them until you can hear this going pretty well. And yeah, my yellow is not wanting to do it. There it goes. It reminds me of nail polish. <laughs> What's that? It makes me think of nail polish. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So I'm just going to put a little bit of each in the tray. And if it's kind of plugged up on you, you can take a little head pin or needle or something, which I did not grab. Let me get right here. And just put it down through to open up the hole again. If you don't use them every day, you know. Yeah, I got that going on over here. Yeah, I just take a needle or, you know, whatever, head pin, whatever you have handy, and just clean that out a little bit. And sometimes it takes a couple times. Okay. So you don't need much. These go really, they go, they go far, believe me, guys. Do. You don't need much at all. That's way too much, probably, what I put in there. But <laughs> I get yeah, mine just, like, really splooshed. Yeah, it does sometimes, but just going to clear out this one. I'm loving how colorful and just exciting my mat looks right now. Yeah, absolutely. And with those, those beautiful beads, too. Oh, my goodness. I love those. The rainbow crystals. And so it's inevitable, guys. I mean, you're going to get it. I, I do, anyway. Get it on your fingers, but I, I'm messy. All right, and we're going to put our last one in here. Hopefully it cooperates. Yep. Okay. So are you using the same color family, or are you using some different colors? Oh, Daniel? so I did I, I did pull out a yellow. Oh, pretty. And then I pulled out a red, mm -hmm. and I've got a topaz going on, and then I went all of it. Ooh. Which I don't know if that was, like, one of the colors, but I figured it would maybe be, like, a blendy. Yeah, like a, I like the pop. Yeah. Also, wow, I, I love it. I, like it. I love it. That's what you do. Make it your own. That's what you do. Yeah. And if you want this in more spring colors, you know, you could do that. Um, just make your leaves green. Or I also have these beautiful um, findings. These are the branches. These would oh, be awesome it. in it as well, I think. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to paint those green and then do little red dots on them? Oh, yes. That would be so pretty. Like coffee wrench, coffee bean wrench. Or... Oh, yes. That would be so pretty. Sky's the limit. Make them into cherry blossom branches, you know, whatever. Oh, the pink ones. Yeah, this is yep. a beautiful fuchsia mm -hmm. color. I always go pink. Ask my girls here. They know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. just going to get a little brush here. I'm not going to get... A, a, when I make do small pieces, I use smaller brushes. That makes sense. That's what we do when we paint regularly with acrylics and things like that, too. 
So what I like to do is I'll start here with the lightest color. I'm just going to dab my brush in it lightly, and I'm just going to kind of tap it off a little bit. Okay. And we're trying to get this kind of variegated look to it. A big part of patina painting, I find, is layering. So once you do your colors, you're going to do them again. You know, you're going to keep going over and layering your colors to get the look you're looking for. And also, guys, if you put too much, and Danielle, if you put too much on, you can just take your, your paper towel and just dab it a little bit. Oh, okay. And it'll pick some of that up. Yeah, I kind of did that a little bit. Yeah. So it, you know, it's pretty much between the layering and, you know, being able to dab some with your paper towel, it's, it's easy to do. You know, you can fix mistakes easily, things like that. But I'm just going down the center here a little bit with that. And again, guys, make it your own, just like Danielle is. I want to see what everyone comes up with. And then in between colors, I'm just wrenching my brush out a little bit just so I don't get too much contamination between them. And I'm just going to pick up my next color, my orange, and I'm going to kind of go out and around that a little bit. Around the yellow that we just did. And again, remember, this is the first layer. So we have kind of like the yellow in the middle and the orange around the edges of that. Let's get a little bit more of that for this. And I just like it because it, it, with the three colors, you can get an ombre effect, which I really like. I'm into ombres, but. Um, oh, me too. Definitely. I'll be anxious to see yours, though. I'm sure it's going to be gorgeous, Danielle. I'm kind of layering, I think, just accidentally because they, it's like a small piece. So I keep putting maybe more than one layer on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. But I'm going to try what you did for maybe getting the center just on this one. Get a yeah. little different look there. And are you doing your sunshine currently or just the leaves for now? You can do whatever. You want to work on your sunshine. I usually would like work on my leaves first and then go to my sunshine, but go for it. Um, it's basically the same concept. I start with the lighter and then kind of work my way out to get that look. Uh, Y'all wait for you. I'll do that one with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I just, cool. again, like I said, just layering, popping it in here or there. And I like it because it gives you that really cool effect. Okay. Okay, so now I have all three colors on. I'm going to start working back through them again. Okay. And just kind of pop some yellow here, pop some red here, you know, just oh giving gosh, it some depth. I really that? love how the second one came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll hold it up. Hang on. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, the second here. Pretty. There you go. Oh my goodness. That looks really cool. I really <laughs> love that. Yeah, I do. That's beautiful, honey. You did a great job on that. Thank you. You're so I think they're gonna be a little different, each one. Yes, and that's that that is true. Mm -hmm. Just giving it some depth and you know, play with it. Have fun with it. That's why I love them so much because they're so forgiving, the patina paints, you know. With, it's with really the, meditative and just soothing to do this. It is. It is. I just um, seem to reach for them quite often. It just levels up whatever you're working with, like whatever mm -hmm. you're doing just like makes it look even cooler. Yeah, it does. I agree with that. And I like that you chose this one and the sun because they have the most um, nooks and crannies for the mm -hmm. paint to kind of get into. And yeah, yeah that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I like that too. And it did that. So <laughs> Jennifer says she's going to be ordering more sh more for the shop. I'm going to highlight her comment here. Oh, yay. 
So Terry um, says, no two fallen leaves are ever identical. This is perfectly imperfect, just like the leaves. Perfect. Yeah, definitely true, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> so true. Yeah. And Sharon says they're beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. Uh -oh. Got good girls there. Ladies, women. I say girls, but. <laughs> it's so cool. So however you feel, when you feel it's done, you know, it's your call. You can just set them to the side. Yeah, just kind of like, I wasn't sure about the red. I'm throwing red on one of them just to see what I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Um, you know what? I might blotch it, though. Let's go blotch, blotch. Yep. I went a little heavy on that one. That happens. But you remember, you can go over it, you know, layer it on. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to do here. Let's get that yellow back. Yeah, I love doing this. It's so fun. It really <laughs> is. Creative, you know. And I, I'm really not a drawer or a painter in life, so this Same. is about the extent of it. So. I tried a while ago to, like, do some painting it was it was a long time ago but it's it's um not something i can ever duplicate twice like if i make something i might get something i love and then good luck re reproducing it cause... yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i agree with that i know that girl <clears throat> Ooh, okay i like this you like the red with it blotted? I do. I'm gonna have one that has a little bit of red to it. Ooh. I went back over it with topaz because it was it was a little bit bright. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Really pretty. You got that girl. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so fun. So we have no, a question. It looks like Sharon <laughs> might have a question for us here. Oh yeah, let me highlight that. Thanks for seeing it. Sure. So how easy is it to change a color if you don't like what you used at first? It's surprisingly easy. Um, alcohol will take off the patina paints. Um, you can go over it with the alcohol. I've just gone in as simply, if I caught it right away, I'll wash it with soap and water and it'll come off. But the alcohol will remove it. But if, if it's a lighter color, you can just go head over it with your darker color and nobody will be the wiser. So there's a couple ideas for you. Whoops. That's a good tip. Okay. So are you ready to move on to the sun? Or are you still working? I on am. One? Okay. Okay. I didn't want to rush you. No, no, I'm doing good. Plus okay. I'm going to be doing like a bunch more of these later. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we can come up with. And <laughs> I want to do those cherry blossoms. I think. I do um, too. Yeah, for sure. So now I'm going to do the same concept. I'm going to start with the yellow kind of in the middle section of our sun. Just going around the outside of that circle, just dabbing. Simply. Okay. That's just our first layer. So we're going to just go through it sort of quick. Dab it off a little bit, and then we're going to pick up our orange and go around the next section. We don't want to do whole way out the rays of the sunshine because I want to be able to put some red on there, too, on the tips of it. Because I'm leaving the frame gold. Oh, good goes, to know. Okay. Yeah. But, again, sky's the limit there if you want to paint it. And the trick is on this effect, like I have my orange, I've done all my rays, but I'm kind of like bouncing back into that yellow just a little bit, just to kind of give it that gradient effect. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then I'll go ahead and take my red, do the tips, and then I'm going to bounce the orange into the red too. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. Yeah, it's amazing the effects you can get with the paint. It's, I mean, those girls over at Vintage are super talented. Yeah, I think if I just play a little more and experiment, I might get mm -hmm. even like more skilled with it because this is my first time trying out. Yeah, hey, yeah. You're doing fantastic. And I have a bunch of um, green girl pieces. Mm. And I think I saw, um, I don't know if you follow Jamie Yoshida, but she was doing a class on that and I signed up for it and then um, was out of town for what? Oh. <laughs> so I was so bummed, but I, I really wanted to learn that. Because it looked like they had done like some kind of layering, like what you're doing. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I do have a video from way yeah, back okay. on my YouTube channel. It's older, so please forgive the production value. But um, <clears throat> I did teach um, patina painting on that. And there's, oh. it's basics. It's the basics. It's like Patina Painting 101, basically. So. And you said that's on your YouTube channel? Yeah, that is on my YouTube channel. Yep. You'll have I'll to scroll back a ways. I'll post that in our description here. Um, I'll find it. Especially okay. for folks that are watching later. It'll be in the description. I'll go look. Okay, great. Thank you. It. So, yeah, we're just working our way around that. And we're just going to let these dry as we work on to our other to our wire wrapping the the leaves these dry really fast the the patina paints do so the leaves are already dry so that's great because then we can go ahead and start wrapping those on when we're ready but yeah that's a simple oh wow look at that here's mine I'll hold that one up yes i want to see Ooh. I like I that. I did end up doing the ring, but only by accident because I got some red where I didn't want it, so I covered it. <laughs> but I like the ring. I like the I ring do. painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Definitely. it's really nice. Beautiful. And then my Beautiful. leaves a little different. One of them has a pop of red, one doesn't. Oh. I do think I like this one more. Yeah. But I needed to see the red to know if I liked it or not. So. Right. Yeah, and I can understand that. Beautiful, honey. You did a great job. Thanks. Oh, I was so excited about that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so I'm really dry already. What's that? They seem dry already, even. Yeah, they, they dry super fast, super fast. They really do. It's so cool. So I'm just going to clean my mess up quickly here, get this out of the way, and bring my bead mat back in. <laughs> Me too. Because we're going to need that now. And I gotta get, so let's see. I'm gonna need some of these, right? Yes, you're gonna need some of these frames. These are super fun. I like that they're not, you know, perfectly uh, round. I like that they're kind of organic, you know. Me too. Sharon has given you guys a tip. Um, if you check in the chat about where you can find more patina inspiration. Oh, cool. Great. Always yeah. want to learn, that's for sure. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got that ready. And okay. you got your wire. Yep. The leaves. Yeah, those are totally dry now. Super cool. Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I... Um, I'm just grabbing my wire working tools. I do like the tweezer pliers. So I have those and just some wire cutters. Some flush right cutters. There. Yeah. Flush it's cutters. Yep. Yeah. Yes. My own. And I've got mine handy here too. So I'm going to grab those. Yeah. And so we just need flush cutters and some pointy chain nose. Mm-hmm. Something the pointier yeah. the better it looks like the ones that you like to work with your wire with basically if you oh. this work I prefer these because I I really can do good work with these on my when I'm wire working with the tweezer pliers because I can really get in there mm -hmm. to those ends okay. and squish them down and if That's I need cool. to like do a crick to tighten something up it gets in there but anything you have will do these would work these are a wider but they would work as well you know okay. anything like that. But so I'm just going to take a piece of wire off here and I think I'm going to take about a, let's do 
18 inches. That's mm -hmm. more than enough, but let's go for that. Cool. I'd rather have more than, uh, than not have enough, you know. Same here, exactly. And more you could always add wire, but I, I like to be able to do it in one fell swoop, but me too. So I'm just going to pour some of these beads out on my mat because it's just easier for me to get them with the end of my wire because we're going to be using the end of the wire kind of like a needle to pick up our um, beads. Cool. You let me know when you're ready, girl. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my thumb and my wire here and I'm going to lay it across the top of my frame right beside the circle at the top here okay all right and i'm just going to hold on to that little piece of wire and i'm going to push my wire down through the middle just like so oh interesting and the reason is different cool and i'm going to hold on to this end of this wire and i'm going to bring the one that we have in our right hand around and i'm going to pull with my left hand and pull with my right hand to tighten that up the loops that we just went around with okay and then i'm going to do i just push them together just to make them um nice to look at basically and i'm going to do it again and the reason we push it down through the center like this is if you put your end down through nine times out of ten you're going to get a kink in your wire right i've learned that the hard way i'm sure you have too <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I, I sometimes forget to start it in the right position like that. Yeah, yeah. So basically at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one of our leaves and we're going to put it on so it's facing forward. And I'm going to put the end of my wire through that and just slide it down. Okay. And I'm going to lay that against the frame. Just like so. Yep. And then I'm just going to take my wire and go over the top back down through and through the middle of the circle. We're going to the side of the leaf, basically. And so did you go over your leaf? I went through the loop of my leaf. Okay. Okay, first. And, and then, then it a little. I'm sorry. And then kind of behind the leaf or? Yeah, and then I'm gonna come back through. Gotcha. Okay. I wrapped here. So I went through it and went over top and then wrapped another loop. I don't know. Awesome, okay. And then I'm going to go back through and I'm going to run my wire end through that hoop again at the top, the loop at the top of that leaf. Okay. And oh, we're going to secure it okay. then on, on the other side. That's how you got it to stay kind yeah. of in position. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're going to secure it on the left side now. And I'm just pulling that through. Be careful you don't get kinks because that. Yeah, I was just having that same thought. I'm like, I better go slow. Yeah. And I'm just wrapping that. You can see it's still moving around quite a bit, but we can, we're going to tighten it up here in a second. Get that back down there. Okay. And I'm going to do one more loop there. All right. Did it. Yay. And then you can just like go over top of your, because no one's going to see really the wire work behind this, but you want it to look nice. But um, you can just take your wire then and just, take it across to the other side because that's where we're going to want to start with our first bead <clears throat> when we're ready. So I'm just going to pull that through so that's ready for me to put a bead on. So what I'm going to do now with what we did here, you can see it's still kind of floppy and it's on there, but we want it nice and snug. So we're going to take our pliers in there and this is where they're going to come in handy. We're going to kind of push this wire down to keep that nice and tight against that frame and then you can also take your wire um not the one that that's active but the other ones and by active i mean that we're going to be using and you can just grab your wires if you need to and just give them a little twist just like you would do say if you're wire wrapping a, a um, natural stone or something and you can go on the back and you can just give it a little twist with your wrist and it tightens okay. those wires. Gotcha. Okay. Just tightens that down and you can see how much better it is already. And just work on that till you get it the, the tension that you want. And it just will <laughs> kind of free float there. My wire's hitting the camera. 
I mind does that all the time when I <laughs> when I teach. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, this is just everyone's loving your butterfly dish. Oh, thank you. This was actually my mother-in-law. She she passed last year, but I, I use this in her memory. And I thought, boy, oh. it looks good with our beads, doesn't it? It is. I agree. It's so elegant. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love it. So really I'm into bead bowls. My friends always get me different bead bowls and stuff like that. So I like to, to show them off on my lives. So now, once you have that attached in the way that you want it, we brought our wire back through the center and it's sitting here kind of behind our leaf there. Okay. And we're going to just kind of wrap around, put another loop just to kind of make sure we're secured. And move it down here a little bit because we want to go, you can see in this one, I left that area kind of open where the leaf is wrapped. Okay. So we're going to go next to the leaf, like up and above this uh, right leaf, if you can see okay. what I'm saying. So it's kind of yeah. in between there. Okay. So I'm going to pick up one of my beads and just use my end of my wires like a needle. Pick that up. And then just slide that down to your frame. And this is a very simple technique, but it, you know, makes a nice effect. And so you just hold on to your bead there and you want it to be kind of laying on your frame and you're going to bring your wire in and behind and through the circle. Okay. Just like so, and just wrap it around one more time. And that's it. Our first bead is on. Okay. Uh, okay. And I notice, like when I'm wrapping, I'm like bumping into my leaves and stuff. So at the end, I'll go back and really secure them up. Um, by tightening down everything again. So don't don't worry if you uh, see them kind of bouncing as you're working because I don't know about you, but I manhandle my wire pretty much. So <laughs> it's just yeah. how it goes, I guess. But so yeah, it works though. <clears throat> so I'm just oh sorry, go ahead, honey. I think I'm gonna move this one just a little because you're working from front to front, so from the front of the component to behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. I'm going to make a quick switch so that mine's doing the same. Okay, sure. Hopefully it will let me do that. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, got it. <laughs> so I'm doing one wrap one in wrap between wire. between my my beads, but you could do a few if you really wanted to showcase that wire. You know, you could do that. But I'm just doing one wrap and then I'm going to pick up another. Okay. Bead. And the same thing, it's going to land right there on that. And you can see how I'm coming through the inside right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's what I got. All right. So then you're just going to lay that bead on your frame and do the same thing. We're going to do one through and then finish that loop around. And it's going to be coming through the center. Okay. There we go. And we're just going to keep on with that technique now i varied my beads between the the clear ones and the opaque ones but you can do whatever you design you want i'm anxious to see what danielle comes up with i was just debating it in my head were you <laughs> yeah i was like do i want to do ombre where it's like a couple yellows and then but then yeah, i decided i'm going to do like a, a flow so it's going to okay. go um and so did you do anything with your loose one over here, the, the one you started? Nope, just leave that there for now. Oh, okay. Cool. For now. Right. I just leave that there. It's a little bit of a handle and just kind of gives you a, a holding point. A lot of times I'll hold on to that and my frame. And I don't like to trim any of that until the end. Uh, That's yes. me personally, only because... This can slide and go out of place. I've noticed if you cut it down flush and you don't tighten it down just as much as you need to, it can start sliding and you don't want that to happen if you're not wire wrapping tight enough. So this uh, is kind of a little bit of insurance. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. So same thing. We're going to need a total of 18 beads if you're going to do it the way that I have this one made. Okay. Um, but we're just going to keep picking up our beads and creating our design. Your wraps are so beautiful. They're like, like, you know, what's it called? Precision. Oh, thank Skills. you. Skill is really thank amazing. You. 
I appreciate that. Thank you. No, thanks. I like this one. It's like it's the coolest project because it gives me that um, practice with this time. Kind of, this technique is new to me, newish. Yeah, yeah. I've done it for a while, but I ne I learned it more recently than most right. people are surprised. Like, whoa, you never did. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hey, everybody does, you know, their techniques in different order, you know, and I think some people stick with one certain thing they do, but I, you and I yeah. are not those people, but <laughs> we like to try a lot of stuff. But let me see that again. I didn't get a good look at that, my dear. Oh, sure. I want to see. Oh, yeah, that's looking really good. Really good. I did good. pull that green in. And I, I can, can see, are yours more, yours are more like to the outside of the frame? on the edge kind of you are correct about that yeah yeah I mean, that looks good too that. i like that i like that i'm a and one trick it, pony this is the old you it's <laughs> good it's good and i'm just more on the front but you can do it that way too that's a perfect example of a variation that you could do oh now i see why you had the one wrap too that makes more sense so this is the back of mine and i have i have yeah. something going on here where, where i jetted this out but that was so i could get in position so I could work from front to back. That's fine. And then it has the added yeah. bonus of holding this thing. That is a great idea though. Look at you. What? And then I, I kind of accidentally did it, but now I'm going to say it was on purpose. No, hey, let's go for it. That's what I do. Happy mistakes. Happy accidents. Happy Isn't that what Bob Ross always said? Yeah. Happy accidents. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got this like keychain. Um, yeah. And I was going to mail it up to John Bede because we used to joke about they were jokes about me being like the seed beating Bob Ross. Okay. And so I was going to send that up to them as a joke, but my son wanted it. He took it. Oh no. <laughs> it's the keychain. You push each of these little buttons and it says one of his phrases. Oh, does it? Oh my like God. He pressed one and it goes, happy little clouds. Happy little clouds. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, um, for my husband's brother had his birthday recently and when he was here visiting he's a he likes to paint he's he's an amateur but he does a real good job but we were watching bob ross and i'm like you guys are like <laughs> driving me crazy <laughs> so mario got him a t-shirt that said happy little trees on it and have bob ross's face it's so cute Aww. So that's so cute. <laughs> Mario is my husband. P.S. By the way, I guess you kind of figured that, but oh yeah, I just guessed. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're just yeah. putting our beads on and wrapping through loop and back through, and you can really get a quick rhythm as you go. And I can see probably I, I may not have enough wire, but that's actually probably a good thing because then I can show you if you run out how to hook some more wire back into it and oh, keep good. going. I think I might run out too. I was just yep. having that thought. It's like, oh, I, I did two wraps instead of one. Yeah. And so that's why I consumed it so much more. And, you know, if you want to start with 22 inches, you know, you can certainly do that. I, when I'm working with the camera, I'm like you, the wire bounces and hits into the camera. So a lot of times I'll do yeah. it on the shorter side, but so I don't drive I'm everybody too screen. crazy. Loving this. It's so pretty. Well, so good. You go to, did you go to the very, very bottom of it? Yes. Right. I basically, let me see how I have this. Because it's kind of. Oh, no, it's not. It's not the very, it's not straight from the bottom. It's more on the left side of the frame where I do the next leaf. Okay. I see. Because you start here just after the hoop at the top. So right. So you kind of want symmetry there going. That's yeah. Cool. I kind of wanted it offset a little bit. So this leaf will kind of go between that leaf and. Yeah, but it's all in what you enjoy too, you know. Oh, I, I love say, it like that. That's my favorite. You. Yeah. So we'll keep going a little bit here till we get to about that position. And we're going to hook our other leaf back in. Or our other leaf in, not back in. Yeah, and I bet <laughs> that's the spot where I'm probably going to run out of wire, I think. Well, that's fine. That'll work great good, because right? we, can hit, we can hide it behind the leaf. The adding of the wire, you know. So that's like a perfect spot. Yeah. And I'm adding, I'm adding the colors now in reverse order. And I'm wondering if that's going to work out perfectly or like it'll go back up to yellow. I bet it will. You have such a good eye on things. I don't know. Dimensionally, like spatially, I don't always land that. No. Times it's just like math would have saved me if I could do it. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> 
<laughs> well, I was a banker for a lot of years, so I do, oh, so you got the math. <laughs> I got the math to a degree. I wouldn't go too far with that, but <laughs> to a degree. Remember, we had computers for everything too. So <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's, totally good. that's what I always tell everybody. Oh, you like math? I'm like, actually, I hated math, but <laughs> <laughs> that's I, true. Once you get to use a calculator, like at school, it gets way better. Yeah, because then oh, you're definitely. demonstrating. Hey, I got that concept. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to be able to add in my head or right do all that exactly. quickly because I was never good at that. No, mm -mm. I, I wasn't. I wasn't either. Daniel, don't feel bad. I tried. I tried. I was, I, the math thing. I was just, and it was hilarious, um, because my math teacher, my mom, my mom had run into him after I graduated, and I was, you know, an adult working out. In the public, and he said, uh, "My mom said you aren't going to believe Trisha's a banker." And he laughed his head off. <laughs> he was like, "That's awesome, but that's hilarious." <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. And you got yours right in the right position too, ready to go. Okay, great. That's looking beautiful. Would it have been good to go back straight to yellow here? I wonder. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it that way. Like I, think, it like way? I think it gives it interest by not going right back and being predictable, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. This is very predictable, <laughs> but so true. I like it. I like it. Um, so we've gotten to the point where we're about at what, what time is that? Seven o'clock. So we put it on at about one o'clock and we're going to put the next one on at about seven o'clock around your wreath yeah a wreath <laughs> whatever call it your wreath that works too yeah. but yeah we put this one on about one we're gonna put our next leaf on here and i have some wire left oh yeah that's looking pretty very very pretty and i'm just gonna do the same thing i'm gonna just take this loop and use it to my advantage and just slide it over my wire now danielle do you need to add wire before we I think so. I'm cutting okay. it out. I don't think I need another 18 inches because I'm already kind of like, I'm kind of over from where I started here. Okay. So um, I only cut like 15 inches from. That will be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is with the end, we're going to add some wire now, guys. So I'm going to take this okay. end and I'm just going to snip this off on the back with wire I have remaining. Okay. And then I'm just going to push that down with my pliers. Make sure that's nice and snug. <clears throat> and then, like Danielle, I'm probably going to take, you know, about 15 inches or so. You don't really need a whole lot here to finish. So okay. I think that'll work great. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did at the top when we were um, putting on the um, first piece of, when we were first attaching our wire. Sorry, words are hard. Um <laughs> So basically, it's the same thing, but I'm going to put my wire point on the outside here. Okay. okay, just like I did with that one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push it down through. And you're this, like I said, this is a perfect way to do it because your your leaf will be there and it'll hide the extra wraps that we had to put. So I'm going to do like oh, two brilliant. or three wraps to make sure this is on there pretty secure. And I'm just going to tighten that as I go, just like I did with the one above. I'm going to keep it close to where my bead is. And I want to make sure, see how that's wobbling around? We want to make sure that's good and snug there before we go any further. So it's very important that that's linked up so you don't have any problems with um, when you're wrapping your end moving around and being annoying and frustrating. For reals. Yeah. So I've got some extra wraps going on there, but that should be okay, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're going to hide it. So, okay. So, I'm holding on to this end back here. I still have my end on there, but I'm going to hold on to the end of it because mine does not seem to want to attach the way that I want it to. Completely. Mine's wobbly too. So, I'm going to yeah. do this. I'm going to do the same. I'm just gonna hold yeah, it. let's do it. So, now we're going to put <clears throat> our leaf on. Same way that we did on the top. And we're going to kind of, I want to put it in a position that I know I'm going to like once I get everything tightened up. Kind of finagling it down here by the last bead that we did. Okay. Cool. 
and then we're going to just wrap it on when we're happy with where we have it we're going to go around the right side and around the left side and any other like you know how danielle did with putting that extra wire behind that was a perfect idea you can wrap it around the loop again and just grab on to whatever you can grab on oops i didn't go through the loop again i was just getting crazy <laughs> me too <laughs> But any way you can get them to attach, this is the basic way that I do it. Um, but I know we have a lot of wire workers among us here today, so um, they know their business. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap that down. And what I think I'm going to do, because this is driving me crazy how this is bouncing here, I'm going to take my wire back and I'm going to put an extra wrap between the last bead and the second to last bead there just to kind of anchor it there. Oh, okay. okay. I see what you're doing. Yeah. And I'm just going to anchor it. So now it's held in place by wrapping back through there. Okay. And then we're just going to work our wire back around our leaf. And that worked just... really well this time. Yeah. 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 I, the first one's a lot of times when I do the first one, it's kind of iffy, but then by the time you get to the second one, you kind of have everything down to a rhythm and it stays better. You can see mine's the same way. So yeah, that's great. So and then we're just going to continue with our beads. Make sure I have this where I want it. Like so it's a little higher, but that's okay. They're all going to be a little different. So just pick up your beads and continue wrapping. If I can straighten my end out there. Okay. I'm doing Not too far. One of those loops because once again I ended up I end up um behind coming from behind the component instead of in front. Okay. So I'm doing the loop trick again. So we there you go. Hey, that works. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It's a great technique. There we go. Cool. That's how we and all learn like from each other. And branches and little, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You could definitely add wire wherever you wanted to, to make little branches and stuff. Like we could curl them That'd be cool. What's that, honey? We might be able to curl them kind of like at the top of a pumpkin. Ooh, yeah, you could. <laughs> and I could show good. you how to do that. But you know what? <laughs> oh, I definitely. I need to learn that. The spirals. Yeah, they're neat. I uh, actually, at, around fall, as you said, it's your favorite season. It's my favorite season as well. I make uh, these pumpkin earrings that I do with the um springs come i'm making little springs coming out the top of them that looks like the vines it looks really cool um, okay so i got lots of practice making those with doing those spirals and i gotta take a class when when you do one on that let me know okay yeah i i probably could do just a basic wire 101 too and show some basic techniques that would be awesome i think there's a lot of interest in that yeah yeah Sharon's I know when I was learning. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. I was saying um, that Sharon loves the wire that you're using and that gives the dimension. I, yeah, um, I agree. It's really pretty. Yeah, I do like their colored wire. It's their multicolor wire. It is really pretty. And Same. they have some other colors that like they have like a pink, pink and a blue or pink and purple uh, and black. I just or... some of that. I, I think like way back in 2020, I did. Mm -hmm. I took a class. Um, it was one of the first online classes that they did for the quarantine kit. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when I first discovered that wire. Oh yeah. I, I believe I remember that cause I did the quarantine kit too, actually. Oh, Maria says she would be interested in that class. And I think she's referring to the pumpkins with the squigglies. Is that right? Okay. Oh no. Well, she might mean the wire one oh one. Okay. We'll wait for her to answer, but yeah, I could do yeah. both. I don't know if I, I, I thought I might have done one on YouTube with the pumpkins, but I can't remember. I have like 165 videos up there now. So I'm trying to, that's not a lot. Yeah. That's, that's a, cool. not a lot. 
compared to a lot of people, but it's a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. No, I think that's great. I'm working on it. And it says both. Actually, she says both. Okay. <laughs> okay. No worries. We can do that. <laughs> so cool. I get to work on that. <laughs> Girls know what they want. I'm, right. a, I'm like what's I think is considered more of a lazy wire person because I, I will use the wrong item because I'm too lazy to go find the right mm -hmm. item that I probably have here somewhere. <laughs> but that's the trick somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. And, <laughs> and I know it's here and I know it and I don't want to buy it again because I, I can look at it and remember buying it and I'm like, oh, I don't need yeah. to buy that again. But, and then I'll find it. If, if I buy it, guaranteed, I will locate that item and I'll be like guilting myself forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Mean? It's the same thing here. I I have so much at this point that I'm like, okay, this is supposed to be where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not. So. I need so a system. We're, yeah, I know. I know. <clears throat> Organization. I mean, I before I started doing work with different companies, I was pretty well organized. But now with the product, I'm like, oh my Lord, where am I going to put this now? Which I'm not complaining. I absolutely love it. But, you know, yeah, it yeah. tends to be a little overwhelming. But I know exactly what you mean. That's when I lost control of it too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that's what did it for me. I had everything good until stuff started coming in. I don't own it, so I can't just give it away or use it for what I want. Right. You know? It's like right. stuff that I have to use for projects. And, right. Yeah. Totally. Same here. <laughs> so I'm up here at the end. I don't know how close you are, but um, just got there. I'm about okay. Right here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you could even. Do you have room to put one more bead in there, or do you like? I it think I do. I think okay. I do. Yeah. Oh, and in fact, I got around exactly two times with my ombre. Perfect. But perfect. that 15 inches of wire I added. Yep. A little bit short. Like I, sh I should have done more. Oh, it was okay. Oh, right. Yeah, but I might have gone to town with you know that loop thing that consumes a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I have about this much left, but that's still not that much. So, you know, if you want to use an entire piece of it, you know, probably close to thirty inches. Then, if not yeah. a little more. Um, but I don't like working with wire that long, so I'd probably do it in two pieces anyway. But. Agree. And since we're adding that leaf in a couple places i feel like that's mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. great yeah looking good that looks fantastic so we're basically just I'm gonna take it. that take your what's that sweetie i'm proud of it <laughs> yeah you should be it's beautiful <laughs> stunning oh, thank you so much for teaching me that oh awesome. absolutely and i'm just gonna cut the ends of our wire here and just you know do the old take your pliers and squish the end in so it doesn't oh, catch okay. on any anyone's clothes do the same here I'm actually going to try to get this around one more time. This is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, though, is kind of grab it from here. Gonna we're just going to do that first wire that we had put on the same way. Just trim that and push the end oh, down. Awesome. If you wanted to make the tendrils, like, um, or, or, um, vines or anything like that that uh, like danielle was talking about that would be the time when you have your excess wire you could leave a little mm -hmm. more excess wire when you first wrap and then same on the other side and you can make some tendrils coming down that you know. would be cool yeah, yeah you can use that extra that you've got at the beginning yes Mine's yep. a little short for that but that's a yeah. great idea and you could add and do it too you know so i'm just going back in here and just working on my first leaf again just trying to get that as snug as I can there I'm just going to trim over here I'm trimming and firming things down okay and then I think I've got it yes there we go yep that firmed it right up for me I just went and and twisted the wires like I was showing earlier seems like that really does a trick for me at least oh that's brilliant yeah and my leaves are not wiggling. They're like, they're solid right there. Like I Good. Can Good. They're not doing anything. That's perfect. That is perfect. My, this top one's still a little wobbly for me, but it did help doing that. 
Oh, there we Ooh, go. That's pretty good. That. <laughs> over here. So it's at this point, y'all, that's beautiful, honey. Oh my. You did oh, a great really? job. I dig this so much. Mm -hmm. I like the pops of color that you put in and the way I'm really that glad I did the red at the bottom too. Like it's yeah, yeah. And it's not predictable. And I love stuff that's not predictable jewelry wise. It just really not life so much, but jewelry wise. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like life, I want to know what's happening. Right yes, now. yes. <laughs> so at this point, guys, we can bring in our sun and we're just going to link that together with our jump rings. I was a bad student, forgot to bring my jump rings. I'm going to go find some really quick in my box. Okay, sure, sure. I think I have some next to me. Oh, yes, we're good. <laughs> These textured ones. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, I can never see where the opening is. So if I fight with them, what a little sides bit, are you using for your jumps? I believe these are about a six millimeter. Six mil? Okay. Yeah. Let's see what I got. I've got. Yeah, those are six. Jackie, I'm gonna have everything but six millimeter, but I'm gonna find something close. Use five. Use seven. Use eight. It what doesn't matter. You know, whatever you like. <laughs> yes. See, and that's how I like to design. I say this is what I did, but you can do. The sky's the limit, guys. You know, this is a technique and adapt it. You know, there we go. I got it. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna use whatever this is. Okay, that works. That works. And we're just linking those in simply, and then we'll just run our fairy silk through. But you could certainly do a bead a piece with this, that would be stunning. Oh, yeah. Use this just as your pendant and then do bead a piece with it or um, something like that. And this one's a little brighter than my other, but get the Ooh. idea. <laughs> and what I did and another trick um, I'm going to give you guys today is <laughs> I'm full of it, aren't I, Danielle? No, um, you keep those tips coming. But these uh, fairy silks, I really like a lot of them, but some of them are just really too bright for me. So um, what I do is I tea dye them. And you can really? see the difference in these two. Oh, I this see. is the same one, but I tea dyed it. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's really clever. I would have never thought to do that. Yep. Just tea dye it. And then so. you just hang it dry after that? Yeah. Just hang it dry. And uh, it's perfect to use from there. So we're, I'm just stringing this through just, you know, like I said, guys, you use your pendant, however you would like, if you want to put it with a bead of piece or anything, but that's it. Oh, yay. That's so cool. <laughs> Let me get turned around here. <clears throat> if I can switch it so that you can see. There we go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm going to make this one. There, so that's my, better. We're all, out, but I'm I excited how that. Came out. Oh, honey, that came out so pretty. That is neat. I love it. And I'm gonna go find some of that silk. I bet I have something kind of like that. Yeah, I bet you do too. I bet you do too. I might try that tea thing. That's a really good idea. Yeah, and because if sometimes, like I do bright jewelry too, but a lot of times I want more muted stuff. Oh, so yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'll tea dye whatever I have, if it's a fiber or lace or whatever I want to use, gives it that more vintage feel. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. We're getting such nice comments over here. Everyone says that it's beautiful and that we did a good job. And thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, you guys. We, I always enjoy. This was really inspiring and it just makes me look at all of my beads in a new way. Yeah, absolutely. So, Thank you. Thanks for having me. And guys, this yeah. is very fall. This is very harvest, but do your spring colors and do your um, green leaves or your cherry blossom branches. You know, that, like I said, you can make it fit to any season or time, you know. So true. Yeah. Like I'm looking at this color here and I'm seeing mm -hmm. how cool would it be to do one in like lavender with the cobalt and turquoise like that. Oh, yeah. Keep the yellow. Yeah, so there's possibilities. That'd be gorgeous. Sure. Yeah, those rainbow strands, you just can't beat them. They're beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so where can we find you next? What's your next live that we can all tune into? Um, uh, Thursday at 3 o'clock on Facebook, I'll be live. Okay. 
at Pink Poodle Jewelry Studio. I'm going to bring that link up one more time so folks can see where they can find you. And I also want to let everyone know, uh, Amber Scott and I, I know everyone probably knows Amber. Um, we do have a big group. It's called Queen Beaters. Um, if you haven't signed up on Facebook, head over. We'll get you into it. We like to post the goings on around the community. You know, we support everyone's lives. We like to just make sure that the education is there and we can promote our fellow artists as well. So, yeah, if you'd like to see one? that. I don't know, but if you I want, need to go make sure I'm I in think there. you are. I think, but I just think make I'm sure. Okay, yeah. but that, that's on your link tree that I've got up here. Uh, I don't think Queen Beaters is, but you just Queen type Beaters? in Queen Beaters and it'll okay. take you right to it. Yeah, I should do that. I should put that in my link tree, though. That's a great idea. I'll put a little note here in the in the comments for folks to check it out. And I will add that to this description, too. Awesome. So I'm, I'm going to go through this after and um, I will add links to whatever I can find for supplies. And then I'll also put the links to um, your the live that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I want to make mm -hmm. sure I t t uh, link to that and then also to the, uh, the Facebook group. And we also have a Facebook group for John Bead. Um, and that okay. one is blog.johnbead.com. And awesome. that's where you can find all of our PDFs and things you can download. And lots of places to, um, lots of folks post their beautiful jewelry there that they've made from our classes. So feel free to share if you make this pendant. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I put also links to descriptions and stuff in there too. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I yeah. love that. I love that Facebook group. There's so many patterns and inspiration in there. It's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you I so really much. enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, we're having a good time adding stuff and keeping the content going there. So yes, well, good. Very cool. So it's you're doing well, in my opinion, anyway. What that matters. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> thank you. So. Well, cool. So I was going to say, um, let's do another one. Let's figure out another project and we'll, we'll get that on there and we'll um, post in mm -hmm. all of our groups and let you guys know when that will be. Yeah, let's definitely. It's fine. Yeah, I just, one, I'll just tune in. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I'm done. I'm the worst like with like the um, making sure that I like line up talking because it's so hard. There's a delay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> The most, I'm like, so oh, I, I keep interrupting her. Oh. <laughs> I do it all the time, but I don't mean to. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So we will find you Thursday at 3 p.m. And that's 3 p.m. Eastern? That is. is that yes, it's Eastern. Eastern. Yep, I'm in Pennsylvania. So, so yeah, that that's Eastern. Mm -hmm. So that's noon for us here in Pacific. Yes, Pacific. yes. Um, and 1 o'clock Central Time. Yep. And that's on your Facebook. And they can find that from that link tree we just posted. Um, I believe... If I don't have it, I'm going to put it on right after this. I think, cool. I can't remember what all I have on. Let me just look at it. I can tell you because I have it right here. I can too, yeah. Let me go ahead and find Let it again. Double check. But um, I have my links here in my link tree. They have an app now for it, so it makes it a lot easier. Yes, I do have my uh, Facebook, Pink Poodle Jewelry Studio, is on my link tree. I'd need to add Queen Beads, but that is there, yes. Awesome. Okay, so you guys can find her next live there. And then, of course, I'm live again Friday. Friday at 2 p.m. Central. So for me, that's 12. <laughs> and for the East Coast folks, that's 3 on Friday. Did I have that right? I think, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and so that one is, um, we're putting together the tile bracelets and the tile earrings. We're doing seed beaded tiles. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that cool? It's really cool. So I've got I'm going to I'm gonna have to be there for that one. That is gorgeous. Oh, definitely. You'll love it. Yeah. See, I haven't done a lot of the freehand seed beading, just like my little cabs and stuff. And your brooches. Um, yeah. That's, that's harder than this. Like, oh, I like. So, yeah, you can do this easily. You'll okay. Be okay. I'll have to believe this. you on that one. <laughs> but that looks like something I'd like to learn for sure. Very pretty. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Okay. Well, hey, um, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for being here. And um, we'll keep you posted on our next stuff. Absolutely. Have a great, Thanks happy, great day. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs>